Hello guys, welcome to Langrisser Review. So today we're gonna do sort of a different sort of uh, analysis. Today we're gonna do the mommy tier list for Langrisser. And as you can see on the screen, I've included the completed tier list. And so uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go over the, requir the requirements for the tier list first and also how the tier list ended up. And so here we'll see the, um, the sort of requirements for this mommy. <clears throat> so this uh, this meme image shows a not literal mommy girlfriend. I'm gonna just list out the uh, different sort of requirements for it. So the first one here is, hey Anon, come give me a hug. The second one is, what? No, don't you ever think I mind you calling me mommy? I kind of like it. Uh, I think these are separate, but they're sort of cl put close together. Uh, asterisk, Pat's head, and asterisk. <laughs> The next one is, do you want chicken nuggies or tendies? And then we have, yes, I know, chalky milk too, hee <laughs> hee. Uh, and here on the right side is, my boobs don't get in the way of us spooning, right? And then, we're going to the movies on Saturday, sweetie. It'll be fun. And the next one is, I love you, honey. And then we have, you have a tummy ache? Aw, stay away, or stay home so I can take care of you. And so, um, a lot of these sort of ideas and concepts are, are sort of abstract, but the general idea is that this, uh, this figure is sort of caring and also, um, sort of like a mother. And so, going back to the tier list, I've, I've got it sorted out into one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different sort of, um, tiers. So the first, first one is mommy tier. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. This sort of meets the requirements set out in this image. The next one is mommy. So this is um sort of referring to uh, mommy in the physical sense. And so and so if you think back to the Super Bowl, it's sort of like Jay Lopez and um, Shakira. And so the tier list under that is uh, listed as not male. So this means they're not male. Uh, this one we'll, we'll get in, into the next one uh, deeper in the video, but. For now, it's soda slash lollipop. Uh, and the tier list under that is male. So this means they're male. Uh, and the last one is dead. <laughs> this, this just means they're dead. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So um, in the mommy tier, I've got it sort of listed out. Not in really any specific order. It's just uh, the way I wanted to order it. So let's just go down the list one by one in game and see... Um, why it's sort of the way it is. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna include the tier list uh, in the video the whole time. You can sort of refer back to it. I I can link it in the, in the uh, description if needed. So with Listel, I think the biggest takeaway here for her is this line here. Oh, maybe I've chosen the wrong one. No, this is the right one. Um, it says, a hero's legacy dash five. Now Lestel has been summoned to this world. Though a demon, she helps the Swordsmith Legion with her unique abilities and maternal instincts. See, maternal instincts. There you go. The next one I have on the list is Luna. So I'm sure a lot of you have um, done her Gate of Fate and know that her storyline really coincides with uh, her sort of love of food and seafood. Um, and that's going to be a theme here. I think the game is trying to tell us something in, in terms of all the fish. Uh, one, they're not human. They're fish and crustaceans. Two, it's it's motherly and it's uh, it's 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 deeply caring to take care of these fish and crustaceans. So let's um let's sort of dive in or dive in deeper to see why really, in terms of her voice lines and other support, she is in the mommy tier. <coughs> Excuse me. The first example here is uh, her overall theme of breakfast. And so, mothers make breakfast, right? Yeah, they sh they sure do. And so, <laughs> you'll see that Luna also also likes breakfast and makes breakfast. Okay, my voice lines aren't working. Let me. I've done the wrong setting. There you go. But you can. I, I'll read it out loud after she uh, she, she says it. Actually, I won't. Uh, yeah, I, I will. I will. So this is uh, the first one we're gonna listen to is this. 
So she wants breakfast. She says breakfast is very important. And then later on, she will say that. Oh no, she didn't have enough breakfast. And that's why she has to retreat. Only if she fed herself instead of her children. Okay, good. And so the next one. Hmm. I think I, I think I might have might have skipped a character, but uh, the next one I have listed down that I really want to go over is sort of the easy take. And so in this tier list, you'll see the that a lot of the healers are in this mommy tier, and that's because uh, just of their characteristics. They're um, female and they like to heal and sort of support the party. And so. The next two that you'll see are Liana and Lana. So they are twins, and so that's sort of why Lana got sort of carried by Liana uh, into this tier. Liana is sort of like the uh, Mother Teresa of of Langrisser. She, um, as it says here in the Heroes Legacy Four, she you know raises orphans. In a lot of the story game lines, you'll see that she talks about raising orphans and caring about a lot of stuff, uh, <laughs> stuff being children. Um. You know, she really doesn't have any mean lines from here, so that's that's really why I've included her in mommy tier. And now we have Lana. She is <clears throat> Liana's sister. I think she's a twin. I think I did say that before. But, um, you know, the biggest thing here that really sold me to, to her own skills as a mommy is this dialogue dash bond five. <laughs> So she's kind of, she's kind of, she'll say she'll bite off your tongue here. But I'm sure if you're mean to her, she'll bite off a lot more than that. So that's, this really, this really exhibits to me her sort of fierceness. Okay, the next one we have is kind of unconventional, but he is a mother and his name is Roga. And so this guy, his, his, uh, his only goal in life, it seems, is to find and take care of his sister, um, what's her name? The demons? Sonya. I have her built. I just don't remember her name because she's so forgettable. <clears throat> okay, so he, all he cares about is really just taking care of Sonya. So in this voice line, he asks, you know, this road ahead of me, what is my path? And so it really seems like I've found your answer. Your path is motherhood. The one after him that I have on the tier list is Riegers. Let's find Riegers here. Oh, here he is. So here's Riegers. Um, if you've done a lot of the story, he's got a daughter in this game. Her name is Emilio. He, I don't think he raised her because they do meet uh, sort of later on. But he does care a lot about her. And he's. it's mentioned several times that he has a family and cares about his family. So that's that's motherly for sure because you don't actually see his mother so he has to <clears throat> sort of be the surrogate mother um let's see an example of why he likes his daughter well that's very nice of you he says it's very comfy but you should rest great i will rest um and the next one i have is Sort of the combo hero, and that's Gerald and Layla. I mean, do I need to say anything? Layla is a she's a wife to Gerald. He's he's uh, he could be dying, he could be alive. Uh, you don't know unless you do the story. But he's uh, she's a she's a wife, man. Uh, what else can you say? Uh, I'll just pop out one of these just to just for example. Okay, so she's saying it's two people too much. So it seems like I think I think she wants two or more kids is is what that means. Um, the next one on the tier list I have here is she's a new hero. She's called Elusia, or I think I think that's how you say it. But she is sort of um, a newer character that's just been released. And so here I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a short video, and this is um this is clipped from Tao Lee 1982, and this I think this is just from like the game. And this is a trailer of the heroes. And so let's let's see what this looks like. Oh wow, that was incredible. Let's watch it again. Okay, so I think she's in mommy tier. Um, 
Moving on, we've got Angelina. She's right there, and we'll find her in game. So I did mention the lobster theme we had going on before. My Angelina is currently... Can currently use lobsters. She doesn't have them equipped, but she can use them. <clears throat> okay. And so, um, like I said, she's got that lobster connection. And also, she's got... Uh, we'll talk about her later, but she's got a sister named Shefaniel. Um, I found... I, I was digging through her voice lines earlier. I found this recording. <laughs> That doesn't, that doesn't say anything to me. Oh, there it is. That's the one I was looking for. So she wants to mount up and go for a ride and someone to, ho to hold her tight. So you think, I think she's very much in the market for her husband. Um, and that, that speaks to me that, you know, hey, I want to raise a family. I want some children to take care of. So that's, it, it's sort of a stretch. It, I think Luna did carry her a little bit with the lobsters, but she is in mommy too. Okay. Next one, Chris. I think this one's easy. Um, so Chris is a character that later on does marry Leden in the story. And Leden really can't have a bloodline without children, right? <clears throat> but I think that's too easy. So I think with Cherry, or er, excuse me, with Chris, we'll talk about Cherry later. Um, she, it says here, like I said, she marries Leden and becomes a queen. She heals, and really isn't that enough for mommy tier. It is with her with her background, so we'll we'll glaze over her. Um, the next one is sort of, sort of not too clear, but it's Rachel. And Rachel loves her big brother Landius more than anything, and so I'll put a caveat in here: if her husband's Landius, then yes, she's mommy tier. She might even be the SS tier mommy tier, if. You know, if she's with that one person. Um, <clears throat> the next one we have is a queen or princess Imelda. I'm not sure which one she is. Um, but I think she's a. I think I'm not. I'm not quite sure. But one or the other. I think she's a queen. Um, the one voice line that really sold me to her was. Um, Okay, sort of this one. <laughs> okay, ne next one, we're gonna go over some uh, cross crossover collaboration characters, and it's Chloe or Chloe. And the reason she's in here is because she kind of looks like she's 40 years old. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have uh, Serena next. So, Serena is sort of an interesting character. She kind of came in the game a lot later. As an SR, so she's sort of uh, really forgotten, like for a lot of players, just because they haven't built her or her skill set really doesn't do a lot um, that it needs. Her one biggest characteristic that people know of is that she's dedicated and that she loves Wyler. Let's listen to one of her voice lines that kind of does exhibit this. <clears throat> Hard? It's my honor to serve you. Um, so really what this one line says to me is, is that she's, um, she's, you know, she's very useful in hard situations and she's willing to serve and she's dedicated. So Serena's design is really based off of this Frederica Greenhill from the show Legends of the Galactic Heroes. A, a few other characters are as well. This is basically, uh, the Wyler character. Um, <clears throat> but she's made to... To be with Wyler, basically. Um, so moving on from... What's her name? Serena. <laughs> moving on from her, we have Lifany. Lifany. A lot of these characters are mommy too, just because they, they are a lot older. and Or at least they seem so. Um, for her, I, I think I put her here just because she's sort of the mother of magic. And a lot of the Gates of Fate, you'll see that... Um, a lot of the magicians are surprised that she were, was summoned, or that they all—they really just all know about her. Um, and then her gates of fate, she battles, I think, Hein, Egbert, uh, maybe Lana. But it says here in her the Heroes Legacy Dash Four that a lot of historians call her the founder of modern magic. 
that's something, I guess. Um, let's listen to one of her things. Okay, moving on. Um, Anna. I think Anna is sort of what I said before, an easy sort of uh, shoe-in for this, just because she's a healer and she's female. And she can't be found in the roster anywhere. There she is. Um, so Anna is the sister of Varna. That's pretty much... I'll go into that a bit more later. But that's pretty much all she's really known for. She's uh, she looks she has got a caring face. She's a she's a she's a healer. And here's Anna. Okay, moving on. So I did miss two of the uh, characters on the mommy tier list. Uh, that would be Yusuke here. Yusuke and Kurama are part of the Yu Hockey Show collaboration that's coming up. Uh, Yusuke is the mother to Pu, spelled P U U here. Uh, and this is sort of a great you know mother child relationship. Kurama is a plant user. He can manipulate sort of plants to become weapons. Uh, you'll see that Lambda is a ma uh, mommy tier, tier 2. And she also does use plants, but his usage of plants and his loving nature uh, to plants and his usage of that really just puts him a tier up above. Uh, next on, we have Sumire. Sum Sumire. I can't quite say it that well. But um, let's find her. Let's talk about her. So her biggest draw, <laughs> and you can tell just because I can't find where she is, is that she looks not 40 years old, but 50 years old. Um, she is sort of a performer of like the, the little troop that they have going on in that side game. That's all. I mean, her looks really say it all. Next, we have Liffany. Oh, my bad. We did talk about Liffany already. And so I was sort of going through the characters that I missed. So that's why this part is a bit scrambled. But I believe we are going to talk about... Where is she? Sophia here. So Sophia has sort of that same healer... Uh, those healer characteristics. And that's sort of why she's in here. Um, I don't really remember what she does in the story. She's... One of the healer people. Yeah. <clears throat> That's good enough. And so next we have normal Jessica. And her... The reason she's in here is because she's like 2,000 years old. Um, and she's the goddess of Languisher. Or like the... The vessel. See? Here she loves children. What a lovely child, she says. That's right. So next on the tier list, we have this new character this uh mk or a lot of people call, call her emily too because that's later on who she's revealed as um and with emily you'll see here this is from pixiv this is from this dude here <laughs> um but she's sort of a mystery knight and she doesn't she look like a mother um you can really tell from the colors like purple red gold a uh, lack of shoulder pads which is surprising that, those are all really feminine characteristics. Um, so next on the list, we have Shefaniel. So Shefaniel is the twin of Angelina. And that's, you know, really big reason why she's, she's here. But I think even more so than that, um, I think one of the parts in her story really spells that out a lot better than what I can say. Oh yeah, there it is. Shefaniel is a beautiful with a mother, or she's beautiful with a motherly tenderness like the sun. That's that's uh that's all she wrote, folks. That's that's good enough. Um, I'm gonna treat you to one of her lines. <laughs> Isn't that right? She loves to clean. That's great. That's great. Um, next on the list we have Hein. He's actually not in his princess garb, but let's change to that for a second. So, as you can see here, he is he is a woman. Don't be fooled. All right. The game. The game is just playing games with you. Um, and so he is really the mother to Elwyn and all the Anakis. If you go through the story, he's uh, he's he's really tied in with the Anakis and their training. Um, you'll see in this dialogue bond too. He's he's saying, "Oh, I can't believe I have to cut my hair," or like you tricked me. So he, I mean, he cares about his hair. Like, don't be don't be tricked by all these mothers. Even though they're 40, 50 years old, they still care about the hair. And Hein is no different. 
Uh, the last one we have here is Keith. And Keith, I saved him for last just because I feel like he's really the ultimate mother of Languiser. He's, uh, he's basically Sher uh, Sherry's mother. He's, he's really taught her everything she knows about life and everything else, you know, that a mother can teach a daughter. So moving on to the mommy tier, um, I'm going to go over the description again. So this is, um, this is for not males and th sorry, I have to separate this from not male because that's the next tier uh, below, but this is, um, not male, but also pr uh, has a lot of those motherly characteristics that are, that could be attractive to males. And so the first one I want to, I want to kind of throw in a controversial Keith is talking because he's like, this video is going on too long. Me as a mother, I've got to step in and tell you to stop, but I'm not going to listen. Okay, we have Sojo. This is a controversial. So this is so uh, Shoujo Jessica or Young Jessica. She's got a body of a 15-year-old, but a mind of a 2,000-year-old. Um, I've moved her down one tier below normal Jessica just because I've got too much respect for normal Jessica and that she's also lost a lot of her powers um, you know due to the transformation <clears throat> but she's a mommy tier M mammy tier I can't say mommy it's what the Hispanics say uh, it's it's got too much color for me um so moving on we have lambda below her let's find lambda you know this this um this costume change and like how the avatars look really threw me off because I can't find my characters anymore. Okay, so Lambda, her story is that she's sort of um in league with Sigma, McLean, and sort of Omega. So if you can read here, she's like sort of a man-made vessel or a cyborg, and that's really, you know, when I read that, that kind of threw me off. That can't be a, a mother. She's a robot little thingy. Um. But then I read her dialogue bond one, and then I was even more disgusted by her, because she doesn't love humans, she loves plants too much. So that, that's it. Uh, next on the list, let me look, see. We have Freya. So Freya here, she's from Languister 3. Um, she's really connected with Deerheart. But the biggest reason she's in this tier is because of this swimsuit. Um, whoops. I guess I have to change change to it first the reason she's in this tier is because of the swimsuit model that we have in game uh so next on the list we have sakura let me change back before i forget um so sakura is one of the other um i guess soccer war collaboration characters and she is i'm not gonna say it but i'll say it she's a weeb like a sword weeb She's more interested in talking to you about her katana and how the steel is like folded a thousand times. And it, you know, if a katana is better than a sword is and who would win and all that, than really anything else. Uh, let's listen to this, which shows it. You know, what, what's an aquiline ghost goss blade? Like, I don't understand, Sakura. Keep that to yourself. But she's she's very much in, in, in the mommy tier in terms of her uh, character design and all that. Next one, we have Princess Joshua. So with her, I think the biggest draw here is this one line we have here, as long uh, as well as his or her uh, sort of background. Wow, that's incredible. The power of the enforcers has fully been released. So he's very like he's very like sharp-minded, and in the Tit story, he was all always like the the guy that had the plan or he knew what to do he was on top of things while his training partner is still which is um i think in not in the not male tier she was sort of always the aloof one and she really didn't know what was going on so i think he's the superior uh, sort of sister figure to her and that's very much why he's in the mommy tier um next moving on we have betty is it even betty yeah it's betty She's really sort of forgettable because just not a lot of people know about her and honestly not a lot of people pulled for her. But I'd like to show you a picture of Betty. Oh that's not that was Rachel. But this is this is Betty. Um what a nice picture of her, right? Okay, the next the last one we have is Akaya. So Akaya is um she's one of the upcoming 
uh, draws. I think she's in in line with some blonde Brenda, I think. Brenda's actually a mill, but we'll get to that later. Um, she can summon wolf. She's like a summoner, and she's a Sheikah. And uh, she's sort of a lolly, but uh, not really. Um, okay, so we are on the... In terms of the tier list, we've covered the mommy and the ma mammy tier. So we are on the not male tier. So let's see, who's not male in this game? Well, it's actually a sort of trick question. It's more it's more confusing than you thought. <clears throat> Let me get some water. So Leticia. Leticia is not male, but her flaw is that... So everyone here has sort of a flaw. So her major flaw is that she's got a one-track mind. She, oh. you know, sort of the first thing she thinks of when she wakes up and goes to bed is just Lance. Where's Lance? What's Lance doing right now? Blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. Um, next on the list, we have Varna. So Varna is sort of Elsa Mueller's woman, and they, they do a lot together. But she's also a sister murderer. So that's, <laughs> that's really why she's here. Um... Let's listen to her conversation dash words of anger. <clears throat> so she's she's saying underestimating her will lead to death. Just like what happened to Anna when she poisoned her. Um, okay, let's go to Narm. So Narm's in this chair just because she's not male and she's the same as Cherry. And that's her biggest flaw, is that she's the same as Cherry. And this is Cherry, she's uh, Narm's descendant. She's uh, sort of not male. Uh, she's definitely not male, but she's uh, the same as Narm. Let's listen to one of this. This is uh, sort of the favorite line of everyone in the, in the game. Oh man, I can do that for hours. Um, okay, after Cherry, we have Estelle. So like I said before, Estelle is from the Tits crossover. Um, she's sort of um, not as serious as Joshua in the beginning of the game. And she's not male. Uh, next one, we have Bozel. And so a lot of people think, hey, I've done the story. I know a lot about Bozel. This guy looks like a male here, but I'm here to I'm here to ruin your day. This is actually Bozel. This is Bozel's true form. Um, when he takes in the power of chaos and all that. Okay, and on the last not male, we have Almeida. And so here's Almeida. She's... Not male, but if you've done if you've done the story, her biggest flaw is that she's um all she thinks about is boys. Uh, let's listen to this. If you if you hear this, you'll definitely get flashbacks to um <clears throat> Shifando's line, where she says like, "Hey, you want to clean or something?" But don't be fooled. Uh, like I said, her flaw is that she, you know all she thinks about is boys. Uh, the next tier we have on the tier list is Soda slash Lollipop. So, <clears throat> the, the idea of Soda and Lollipop is like to sort of conjure up childish uh, sort of images or thoughts. And so children want sweet things, and that Soda and Lollipop are both kind of sweet. Um, and the idea I had for this Soda is because in one of her lines, Tiaris, who's like 11 or something, uh, I can't find her age here, but she's I think she's like 11 um, or 12. She um, she literally just, just asks for soda. And that would be in Battle Select 2. So soda. Let me play that a few more times. So soda. So soda. She like she basically asks for it twice because she stutters. Because she wants soda that badly. Uh, the next we, ha we have on the list is the Lollipop. Uh, or sorry, she's she sort of fits the lollipop a bit better, and I'm gonna just play you a few lines from her as well. And so after listening to, listening to that, you'll know that she's not really the uh, the Alizard, but just a brain dead child. Um, after that, we have Clarette. Don't have too much to say about Clarette, but she's, uh, I feel like she belongs in this tier. Um, after that, we have Renee. So Renee, if you want to know a lot about her, there's actually a lot in her backstory in terms of, um, 
be tits games and sort of i think it's like in the expansion where she has like a lot more backstory but she is uh she's a little she's like 10 years old 11 years old okay thanks but she's uh she's in this tier as well whoops uh after that we have amelia i don't have her so i can't show you her but amelia is the son of riggers or the daughter sorry excuse me the daughter of riggers and she uh if you've done the the storyline she goes and sort of avenges him and sort of learns about herself um but she's also brain you know brain brain dead airhead child <clears throat> the last one in this list and sort of the most obvious is iris and so iris is from the sakura um crossover i can read here like everything she says is like i'm not a kid i'm not a kid but if you've known any kids it just you just know that that's all kids say. And all she wants to do is play, right? So that's that's obvious that she'd be in this tier. Um, <clears throat> the next one I have is the male tier. This is pretty obvious, with one exception. Whoops. So that, okay, that resolution is a lot better. So I've sorted the male tier by all the males uh, sorted by sort of hair color. I've gone from black to red to like all these funky colors and then white. Um... The, the one thing the game's confused about is that Brenda, who's an upcoming character, is female, but she's actually male. So that's why I put her in the male tier. tier. And the last ones I want to do is are these dead tiers. And so if you look at this dead um, tier list, you'll notice something, sort of a theme. And that theme is that, you know, elves are really only good for one thing. And that's being dead, right? It, it's well known. Uh, so Lustreal is, is an elf. The next one is like this funky looking SR character. She's an elf. De Deedlet's an elf too, but she might move up the tier depending on how she does after release. Sonya, I think she's like half demon, half human, but she's got these elf ears, so that's why she's thrown down here. Um, Faraquia is also in this tier, and I don't really have a good ex explanation for that, but I think she's just too twisted and too corrupted to be in categorizes it as anything else um we have juggler next <clears throat> juggler 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 he's a dog so that's why he's in here um sort of the same thing with yuli i think she's died a few times she can die three times without actually dying but she's dead in terms of season three um and then we've got this Ma mia maya i th think that's her name she's from a dead game so she doesn't matter uh rainforce and this um Sh Shalika Kia they're not I don't think they're human so they're not even on this list um this guy's name is I think I, I think I have this next curly haired male um who's not actually a male but he's dead his name's Alfred uh I'm pretty sure he's a lobster so that's why he's in here um and then we have it's sort of covered up here but that's Kuwabara he's from the Yui Hockey Show um collaboration as well he's uh based on this Okay, I can't, I can't do that. But based on this image, he's dead, so that's why he's here. Um, and so that being said, that concludes our uh, sort of review of this tier list. I think it's really the most comprehensive tier list out there, and I think really, if you have any disagreements, you can leave a comment below or shoot me a message. But I'd be glad to tell you why you're wrong. And so, uh, thanks for watching.